body to actually in Bhagavad Gita, this kind of tapas, when you subject your body to all sorts of um, hardship and all, that is called as uh, tamasic tapas. Tamasic tapas. With, with whatever you are doing to your body and what intention you have, that will dis that will uh, determine whether the tapas is sattvic, rajasic or... Listen to Bhagavad Gita. The verse from Bhagavad Gita. Those who subject their body to all sorts of things, people do. They'll make a hole in their air and, and they'll hang some weight there, like a two-pong weight. Hmm? And they, they do all, who subject this body to all sorts of terrible things like that. This includes everybody, eh? I, when, let me just tell you, when, when, when we grew up, people used to have only one earring. Hmm? Nowadays, I see a string going up the road there, and it have enough place. Have you seen that? I think these people, their ears have become holy. Holy ears. Anyway, so subjecting the body to that kind of rigorous uh, um, torture, torture it is called, to do tapas, that is called tamasic tapas. So Bhagwan tells, Mura grahe natmano yatu pidaya kriyate tapaha. Then in the next line, he says, Paratsyo, paratsyo sadhana thamva tat tamasa mudahritam. Tamasa means tamasic tapas. That, that the intent of the tapas is to cause some trouble for others. It has real, real things in this world, you know. He doing tapas. Now see, shumba ni shumba, they do tapas. And this is exactly what they did. What is it? They subjected their body to all sorts of torture. And they worship Brahmaji. Withdrawing their senses from the world. And, and the intent was, was to what? what? Subjugate the whole world to their power. You see? 
to to uh, uh, suppress the whole world and bring them under their control. Not only with this world, all three worlds. Now that type of thing, that type of worship, and that type of tapas, that is called tamasic tapas. And that uh, means to say that thing will lead to bad karma, isn't it? So we have to be very careful. You have to always check what is the motive for doing what I am doing. If that motive is not a noble one, please remember some bad karma coming down the road. The motive should always be a good one. And in